Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian Fuel. So guys, the cold war between Black Ass and Supreme Air Confraternity in South Africa in the city of Johannesburg is still very active as two people were brought down yesterday evening. So in this video, we are going to be talking about these two people that we brought down, who they are, and the group that actually brought them down. And we will also take a look at the way that these young men were brought down. So before I go into it, I quickly want to remind everyone who is watching this video that are in Nigeria, especially in the city of Lagos, that the confraternity war between these two groups in Lagos is also still very active. Like I said in the last video that I made about Lagos. Now, it is very prevalent for you guys to know that they have taken the court war in Lagos to Owode Ijako and there are hit squad that are currently ruling in Badagri. So I would like everyone to spread this out so that more people won't be brought down because two people were actually brought down in Owode Ijako and one person was brought down in Ojo and when I have time I will make videos about that. So with that out of the way, let's dive into the South African video. So yesterday evening, the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down in an area called Midrand, right there in the city of Johannesburg, South Africa. Now this young man is popularly known as Dashun, and as you can see from the picture, he is not so very young, he is a matured man. He has been in South Africa for quite some time now, and what he does is that he sells shoes and bags. A lot of Nigerians actually patronize him, which actually make this painful for a lot of people because they said that he is well known right there in the city of Midrand. Now this young man is said to be a member of AA and he was shot three times, boom boom boom, by some young men who are said to be members of Black Ass. Now one of the painful things about this particular young man that was brought down is that he hasn't been practicing for a very long time according to words on the street. They said the young man actually stopped practicing and he is currently facing his family trying to raise his children. As a matter of fact, he has a child that is almost two months old. He gave birth to a child in December 2022 and it is painful that such child will not have a father that is going to cater for him and take care of him. You know, this is a very painful thing that is going on with our brothers that live in South Africa. And after this news actually happened, in less than two hours, another news came that the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down in Johannesburg. And this young man is also said to be a member of AYE and he was brought down by some young men who are said to be black ass members. And they have basically turned a hustling ground into Call of Duty. And one of the things that we need to understand is that these people that are being brought down in South Africa, they are not children. These are mature people, which also implies that the people that are also pulling the heat are not children. And this is what you will actually expect from people that are way younger, because you will expect people that are matured to be able to talk to the young ones and say, these things are bad. You are not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. This is not the kind of image we want for Nigerians, because the people of South Africa and if they want to describe Nigeria right now, they might say that those people that are bringing each other down. And I quickly want to advise people, if you are a confraternity member that live in South Africa, if you have enough money, enough resources for you to relocate out of Johannesburg and Pretoria, I think that will be very nice. I beg you guys, if you can relocate from these two locations, just go to someone else and relax because the cult activities in these two regions is just too much. And I hope that one day our brothers will be able to come together and have peace. Anyway guys, you are watching Nigerian Phil. 